I am back with a landlocked country in the South Asia which is loaded with ancient art, culture, sacred sites, snow-covered Himalayas as a backdrop and trekkers paradise with rugged trails to Everest, Nepal. I strolled through the medieval city squares of Kathmandu, Patan and Bhaktpur and joining Tibetan Buddhist pilgrims on a spiritual stroll around the centuries old stupas and monasteries. We checked into Hotel Summit in Patan where I was welcomed with a warm hospitality. We took a stroll in the Patan area for historic monuments which has the finest collections of temples and palaces in the whole of Nepal. Patan's spectacular Darbar Square is most visually stunning display of Nevari architecture seen in Nepal. In the evening, we went to a friend's house where we had scrumptious dinner, but the highlight of the evening was Raksi, locally called Ella. This is a specially brewed rice wine created at home and this is 35 years old. This was made by our host's mother for his wedding and he has preserved this for his son's wedding as well. This is very, very special. Jai Bhairav. The next morning, we went for darshan to Pashupatinath temple. It is considered one of the sacred temples of Hindu faith. After the beautiful darshan, we had Chole Puri for breakfast. We headed to Bodhanath, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Buddhist stupa dominates the skyline. It is one of the largest stupas in the world. For lunch, we headed to Hyatt Regency Kathmandu. I was served an authentic Thakali Thali in which few dishes were of Nevari origin. Fit enough to be served to the Queen. I also tasted Himalayan cheese and yak cheese. Here, vada served in the form of dosa, more flattened and pancake-like topped with different fillings, served along with a variety of jhols and relishes. Yum! In the evening, we had a nine-course meal at Krishnarpan restaurant at Dwarika Hotel, where one gets to experience food in a traditional Nepali way. They offer meals ranging from 6 to 22 courses that are served on a traditional brass and earthenware and served by hostesses representing Nepali diverse ethnic communities. I was so overloaded with food, it felt like stuff to the brim. I was in food coma. The next day, we took a road trip to Bhaktpur, which means place of the devotees' temples that mirror the mountains. Bhaktpur has the best preserved palace courtyards and old city centre in Nepal and that is listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO for its rich culture, temples, wood, metal and stone artworks. Later, we went to a popular place, Dale, for momos where we had the unique Jhol momos. Then we headed to Darbar Chowk in Kathmandu and saw palaces, the square, surrounds quadrangles, revealing courtyards and temples. It is also known as Hanuman Dhoka Darbar Square, a name derived from a statue of Hanuman, the monkey devotee of Lord Ram. At the entrance of the palace, we also got to know that a living goddess Kumari stays here. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see her. Though 2015 Nepal earthquake caused a lot of destructions, but slowly and steadily, it is getting back to its glory. Nepal is one country which was never invaded by anyone because of the climatic and geographical conditions. This is the main reason why the food and the culture are protected and there has been no intermingling. This, according to me, is the most unique feature of this country's cuisine. Although Nepal is prone to natural disasters, but it has retained its rich culture and preserved its heritage.